Hey guys, it's me, Jeanette. Today, I am going a little video crazy and stuff. Um, I have to get ready to go to Florida to see my family and stuff. And one of the things that I am doing right now is I'm kind of like catching up, okay? I was so busy with my Etsy shop and then when I shut it down, I was trying to relax a little bit and I shouldn't have relaxed so quickly because now I'm like trying to get all this stuff done. All right. So, but in this video, let's, let's get down to it. What I want to do is I want to show you how I am bordering these Santa hats. Okay. If you really look very closely, one of the things that I have on here, this is Gabby's, is I used knockdown stitches. Now, why did I use knockdown stitches? I used knockdown stitches because it, this has a lot of fur. As you can see, it's very, very thick. Okay, and if you don't use a knockdown stitch on this type of material, what will happen is as time goes on, you're going to see that the fur is going to start peeping in through the inside the embroidery. Okay, so like on the letter A, you're going to see little fuzz start popping up inside the letter A and the B's and stuff like that. So in order to prevent that, what you do is you do the knockdown stitches. Now I do have a video on knockdown stitches and emboss files, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, um, I'm going to start doing all of these, you know, for my family. So I got Gabby's already done. So now I'm going to show you on my computer what I do. And let me take this down. Okay, because we're going to use in brilliance. What I'm going to do um, for the next um, next person in my family, okay? What I'm going to do now is I have to work on Abuela's um, hat. So I have a regular hat and, of course, you know, the one with the, the seam. This is the seam of the back. So I am going to embroider Abuela right here. Now, this is something you can do on a single needle machine and you can also do it on a multi needle. I'm going to show you how to... Do it on a single needle how to hoop this okay i always like to show people if i if i'm working on something how to do it on a single needle as well as on a multi-needle even though i'm mostly going to do it on a multi-needle because this does does a lot faster but if you have a single needle i don't want people to feel like just because they have a single needle they're kind of like lucked out no you're not okay you're going to be able to do this on a single needle too okay but let's show you i'm going to show you right now how i do this file now i'm going to start a new file Okay, and one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to go in um, in here and I'm going to select my hoop under preferences. The hoop I'm going to use is a 5x7 Mighty Hoop, okay? If you, and I know you probably cannot see this, let me get a little closer here if I can. Let me get as close as possible. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to do this in a rush over here so that way... But here you go. Now you guys can see. All right. I am going to select a 5 by 7 hoop because that's what I'm going to use. However, though, if you're on a single needle machine, right, what you would do is you would select, here's a 4 by 4 you would, you would select your 5 by 7 okay, which is the 130 uh, millimeter by 180 millimeter, okay? That's what you would select if you were um, doing it on your brother SC1900 or your uh, P... I think it's a PE uh, 800, okay? So, because those are five by sevens, all right? So that's this is the hoop that you would select and you would hit apply. Now, of course, I, like I said, I'm gonna do it on my multi needle, so I'm gonna hit apply here and I'm gonna hit okay. I'm also going to go out a little bit because I like to see the space that I am working with, okay? Now I'm going to move out a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. So one of the things that is really important, in order for you to be able to add knockdown stitches to your file, you have to have the module of um, in Brilliance called um, Enthusiast, okay? Enthusiast is what gives you the capability to add knockdown stitches. Now, if you don't have Enthusiast and in Brilliance, what you can do is buy embossed, files and then you can go ahead and add the lettering on top of the embossed files and then you can um, embroider it from there okay and I will link the video where I show you how to do embossed files okay so that way so don't feel like oh my god I you know I'm um, I can't do this yes you can you can do it don't worry but I just want to show you how to do the knockdown stitches with the um, in brilliance um, while I'm here okay so what I'm going to do is first I'm going to add my uh my mom and she is abuela okay and of course I've, i'm typing this wrong um i think i did this wrong with the pod too here we go okay and then what i'm going to do is i am going to select the font that i want 
And I just hope I can find the font that I used for Gabby. And if I remember correctly, like it doesn't matter. We can use different fonts for everybody. I think that would be fun. You know, I mean, not everybody has to be the same. There's a boy. That looks good. Okay, I'll use that. And then in order to add the knocks down stitches, okay, if you have purchased in um enthusiast, you go under utility and then you're going to see something called add knockdown stitches. And let me make this a little bigger so that you can see what I'm talking about. See right here, you would go right underneath um utilities and then you would click on knockdown stitches. When you click on knock down stitches, you're going to get this. I always leave the bi-directional clicked, okay? And then I hit okay. And once you do that, as you can see, look at this. See, you have all of the bottom, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I am now going to save this and I'm going to put this on my USB, okay? And I'm going to call it, um, Abuela KD for knockdown. Hi, Mello. How are you? And I'm going to now save this over to my, my USB. Oh, my goodness. Stop. Mello. I'm going to save this now to my USB. And um, to make sure that it is on my USB, sometimes I accidentally save it where I'm not supposed to. I always like to click on here. And then I always like to make sure that it did show up. And I should have a file on here that says KB. And right now, for some reason, I just, yep, it is here. It's there. Okay, cool. So now I'm going to take over to the machine. But let's go over to my cutting table. And let's talk about how I'm going to hoop this thing. Okay, so I'm going to scoop you on over here. And let me adjust the camera a little bit so that you guys can see what I am doing. So that you guys can see. How to do this and I'm also going to uh, show you guys now what I am going to do is I'm going to show you two ways that you can hoop this okay now I have my five by seven okay so what I would do is one of two things I would use sticky stabilizer or I would use um, you can use tear away as well I would just hoop the actual stabilizer on here. You don't have to hoop the hat, just the stabilizer, okay? Once you have the stabilizer on here, let's make believe that I have it, okay? Matter of fact, I'll just put it on just to, so you guys can see. Have a visual, because I know I'm a visual learner, okay? All right, I got my stabilizer on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hat. Now, this is, sorry about that. This is the back of my hat, which has the, um, the crease right here, okay? So what I want to do is this is where I want to actually embroider the name. So what I usually like to do is I like to kind of turn this inside out, okay, a little bit. And then I would just place it on here like this, okay? And then I would just straighten it out with my hands, okay? See how I have it like this, okay? Now, if you have sticky stabilizer, it should kind of stay. And then what you would do is you will walk this over to the embroidery machine. And then you just have to make sure that you have this lined up and that you have the center point on your single needle machine. And then you make sure that it's going to embroider in the in this space. Okay. Another thing that you can do, which I've always, um, which I've said in past videos, is when you are embroidering on a single needle machine sometimes it's a little hard on the placement so what you do is print um, file and print your design when you print your design it'll give you the little template just cut it out put it exactly where you want it on here then when you take this over to your machine right in the center point of that paper is where the needle should hit and once you have it positioned correctly there okay you can do a trace and then you can remove the paper and then you can go ahead and you can embroider, okay? So that's how you would do that on the single needle machine, all right? Now, I'm going to do this on a multi-needle and it is, it is a little easier to do it on a multi-needle. 
Um, and I have so many of these to do, which is why I want to do it on the multi meal. All I have to do is take this, okay, and I am going to just put it in. This is the, where's the back of my hat? This is my back. I'm going to smooth this out like this. I'm going to take this out, take out the tag so that it can rest a little better. There you go. That way I can open it up and I can really rest the hat. Okay, so I got the hat on here. Looks really good. So I'm going to make Abuela's hat now and stuff. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this in here. Okay, and I'm just going to squeeze this out a little bit. I'm going to put my stabilizer in there, just tuck it in. And then I'm going to just squeeze it out. I, it doesn't have to me. It doesn't have to be perfect, um, you know, because I will smooth it out. All right. And let me just, just go like that. Okay, cool. I got it in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gently pull a little bit here and see it's nice and straight. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this to the machine. Let me just re-hoop this because I don't like that this is really at the bottom. I kind of want, prefer this to be at the, the, the middle, which is fine. I'm just going to, let me unhoop this and I'm going to do this again. I That's just me. It's just a preference that I have and, and I should have known better because I did place this at the bottom of the hoop and I shouldn't have did that. Let me just do it this way. Put this right here, it's right in the middle, right here. And then here I go again, tucking it all the way, which I didn't want to do. And I started tucking it away again. I'm just going to do it like this. There you go. There you go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, put it in, okay. Then I'm just going to pull on the sides a little bit to make sure it's nice and snug. There you go. There, nice and snug. And now I'm going to take it over to the machine and I'm going to embroider Abuela right there. Okay? So I am going to take my file. I'm going to put it on the machine. And let me uh, scoot you over to the machine now. Um, and let's lift this up a little bit higher so that you can see what I'm doing here. And um, all right, here we go. So I am going on here and see I'm putting a little pocket in here. I'm going to do this. Now this is the one thing that I really do like about this particular machine. It's that scanning capability. I just love it. I'm a visual person. So this to me is really like golden for me because I'm visual, right? And it shows you exactly where things are going to go. So I'm going to select the knockdown stitch that I did for Abuela. And I'm going to rotate it, of course. So because it needs to be that way. Okay, I want to make sure that you guys see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, now one of the things that I really love is this button right here, which is scanning. I'm going to click on that. It's going to scan the whole thing. And one of the things that I love is that when it scans it, it actually shows the picture as to where, as you can see, it's going to embroider and that is like so cool because that is like right close to the tip and i like that position because i think it's really cool so um that's excellent i'm gonna hit okay i am gonna edit this though because i do want oops i did that wrong that's the knockdown stitch the knockdown stitch i want white what i want red is the lettering okay and that's cool so now um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stitch out my design. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit end edit and embroider. I'm going to hit embroider and I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to go. So here we go.
is done. All right, so let's take a look at it and let's see how this came out. Okay, let's go over to the table so that way we can take a look at it. Let me lower you so that way bring you down a bit. Here you go, so that way you can see exactly how it came out. All right, I'm gonna take this out of the hoop, okay? Um, what I do is I just tear this away. And Abuela's hat is done. It tears away pretty nicely too because it just goes around the, um, the cutaway area. So as you can see, this is Gabby's. This is Gabby's and now Abuela has her hat. And I am going to keep on going until I get the whole family and stuff. So I got I got all these hats that I have to do. I got a lot of hats. So um, for the family, I got Abuelo in the machine going on right now. Then I got to do Nancy's, Harvey's. I got to do one for Carlito, one for myself. And yeah, yeah, I have more hats to do. So anyway, guys. I just wanted to show you a quick video on how I am embroidering my family's hats, just in case you want to do it. Um, really cute. Once you embroider them, it's a hat that you can use every year, okay? And people really like it and stuff. It's really cute, okay? So anyway, guys, hope ha you know, hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And happy holidays. Um, this is really a great way to um, have fun with your family and friends. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.